All right, so in this problem, I have three to the power of x is equal to 80. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, I'm gonna first start with three to the power of x is equal to 80. And now I'm gonna take the log on both sides. So I get log three to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, we want to find a way to, we want to find the value of x, right? And to get x, it's hard to do it when it's in exponent form. So we want to find a way to bring x down to make it a real term. And to do that, there is an important property of logarithms that states that if there's something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this x1 of b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log three to the power of x and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log three is equal to log 80. Now from here, I'm gonna rewrite 80 here as eight times 10. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. And this is another one of the exponent or sorry logarithmic properties. There is also log a over b. And if I have something in this form, this is the same thing as log a minus log b. So now going back to the problem, we have log a times 10 and we can use this property. So we can think of eight as a and 10 as b. So this is gonna equal x log three is equal to log of eight plus log of 10. Now, if you guys already didn't know, log 10 is simply equal to one. So I get x times log three is equal to log eight plus log 10, or sorry, just one. And now remember, we wanna isolate x, so the only thing left to do is to get rid of this log three by dividing both sides by log three. So then this cancel out, and I get x is equal to log a plus one over log three. Now log eight is equal to 0 0.90309 and log three is equal to 0 0.4771. So this is going to equal 0 0.90309 plus 1 over 0 0.4771. And this is equal to 1.90309 over 0 0.4771. Now 1.90309 over 0 0.4771 is equal to 3.9889. So x is equal to 3.9889. Now, the only thing left to do is to check if my solution here is correct. So the original equation was right here, three to the power of x is equal to 80. 
and my solution is x is equal to 3.9889. So if I plug this in for x into my original equation, I get 3 to the power of 3.9889 is equal to 80. Now 3.9889 is really close to 4, right? So let's first find the value of 3 to the power of 4. 3 to the power of 4 is the same thing as 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is the same thing as 9 times 9, which is equal to 81. Now 3.9889 is a little less than 4, meaning we can estimate that it's going to be around 1 less than 81. So it's safe to say that 3 to the power of 39889, sorry, 3 to the power of 3.9889 is close to the value of 80. All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So now this results in 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now 9 to the power of x and 9 to the power of x cancel out. So I get 1 plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 15 over 9 to the power of x. And 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 25 over 9 to the power of x. And now, 15 over 9 simplifies to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, that simplifies to 5 squared over 3 squared. So now 5 squared over 3 squared, that's going to equal 5 over 3 squared. Now I have this to the power of x. Now if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 5 over 3 squared to the power of x, that's the same thing as... 5 over 3 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y and 1 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So I get a quadratic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. This is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, which is plus 4, all over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now remember how we let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 5 over 3 to the power of x equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two equations. I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So 5 over 3 to the power of x equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And a negative number divided by 2 is still a negative number. And notice how we have a positive number to the power of another number here. And you, you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to negative. 
So there is no solution for this. Now for 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. To solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so this can equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3.